I'm Mike Seamson, Mike Seamson School of Woodworking. I've been working with Glenn Huey of Popular Woodworking Magazine to design a Woodworking Olympics for the upcoming Woodworking America Conference in St. Charles, Illinois. And I would just like to demonstrate some of the events so that you can kind of know what to expect when you get there. This is the cross-cutting event. This is the bench that we'll be using. This bench is 22 and a quarter inches tall. It is 11 and a quarter inches wide and 36 inches long, and it has a special clamp on the end to hold the wood so it doesn't move around. The wood will be clamped solidly. You will be given to use an eight-point cross-cut saw that's been tuned up by Mark Harrell to be in excellent condition. And you will be sawing on a squared line on the end of a white pine rough 1 by 12 so it's a full inch thick it's actually 11 and a quarter inches wide because that's the width of the bench so we won't be going quite the full 12 inches um, you will start in this position or whatever position you prefer but I mean you'll start with your saw on the wood the official will say one two three go at which point then you will go so I will try and give a reasonable idea of what that'll look like. So it would be one, two, three, go. And there, I thought it off. Then the official will take the board out of the saw bench and check, the, check that for square in this angle and also this angle and we will use playing cards as shims and each playing card represents a certain amount of penalty points and I can here's the square you can see how square I was able to cut shim in there at the place of greatest deviation. Looks like I've got about one playing card right there, maybe two. And in this way, I've probably got one or two, so I'd get three penalties for that. This event is ripping. We'll be ripping a rough one inch white pine board 36 inches long. We will be ripping approximately a half an inch off the edge. You will be timed and scored for how straight and square you are. You will be given a five and a half point rip saw that's been professionally sharpened by Mark Harrell of Techno Primitives. You will be using this bench, which is 22 and a quarter inches tall, 36 inches long, and 11 and a quarter inches wide. It has clamps built in to secure the wood so that it doesn't move. And you will be sawing over the bench here, not alongside. You will be allowed to start in this position. The official will say, on your mark, get set, go. You will go. And they will run the timer until you get to the end. And then you will be scored. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Your effort will then be checked for straight and square. Using playing cards and a little square here, you can 
see here, we will look for the point of greatest deviation from square. Looks like I angled all along there, so we would then put in playing cards to see how far off I was. One, two, three, four, five cards. Then it'll be that way. Then we'll place the wood on a beam like this and see how straight we are. And that's about six cards there. So that would have 11 total penalty cards plus my time. After you do the planing, we'll switch over, or the ripping, I mean, we'll switch over to the planing. You will plane the piece that you ripped. And the reason we do the planing and the ripping together is because that you just created an irregular edge. Here's the problem. You have just created an irregular edge, and so we don't have to keep making crooked edges to be plain. The plane that we'll be using is a Lee Valley joiner plane. I don't have one here, so I'm demonstrating with this old standing plane. So here again, your board will be clamped in the vise. You're given the plane, no squares, no straight edges, nothing else, just the plane. And you plane this as straight as you can. Your time. probably three cards off for four and a 